Okay, this is notes 9.5 where we simplify square roots. Right now you can do square roots like this. The square root of 49. Square root of 49 is 7. I want you to start thinking of these in another way too. The 49. If I was to break that up into pieces, 49 is 7 times 7. Or 7 squared. And the square root of 7 squared is just 7. I'm going to think of that like this. The square root of x squared. All right, you know the square root and the squared sign cancel each other out. But I want you to think of this. x squared is 2x's times in each other. The square root of 2x's times in each other is just an x. We could also think of regular numbers like this. Square root of 20. There is no square root of 20 right off the bat, but I can break the 20 up into the numbers that make 20. Isn't 20 4 times 5? And that's 2 times 2 times 5? Right, 4 times 5, 2 times 2 times 5. You notice there's a pair in here. 2 times 2. I can take the square root of this. The square root of 2 times 2, or the square root of 4, is 2. This 5 is left over on the inside. These 2's can come out because there's a pair of them. The 5's are on the inside. It's the same way of thinking this is if you broke this up into square root of 4 times 5. The square root of 4 is the 2. The square root of 5 you don't know, so that's why it's in there. But once you start thinking about it, it's breaking, breaking a number up into smaller pieces and taking pairs. If you see a pair of something, they can come out of the square root as a single. Two sevens will come out as one seven. Two twos will come out as one two. The five doesn't have a pair, so it's got to stay inside. I'm going to try to apply this to more complex square roots. Like 49x to the third power. I'm going to break this up into all the little pieces. And what we're going to do is we're going to take out things that are pairs. 49. 7 times 7. x to the power of 3. x times x times x. What are there pairs of? There's a pair of 7s. There's a pair of x's. A pair of 7s come out as a single 7. A pair of x's come out as a single x from above. This is, seven, this is 49. The square root of 49 is 7. The square root of x squared is x. What's left over inside the square root? Just the x. The square root of 49x cubed, which is 7 times 7 times x times x times x, is 7x times the square root of x. I pulled out things that were pairs. I left inside what wasn't a pair. So try again. The square root of 28x to the third power, y to the fifth power. I can't do this right off the bat, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to break it up into pieces. 28. 7 times 4, or 7 times 2 times 2. 3x's. 5 y's. 1, 2, 3, 4. What are their pairs of? I see a pair of 2's. There's a pair of X's. And then for the Y's, how many pairs are there? One pair. Two pair. So there's two Y's, or two sets of Y's. Y to the power of 2. What's left over? A 7 I couldn't take out. There was an extra x I couldn't take out, and this extra y. You take out when they have pairs, you leave them when there's just a single one. Getting more complex. This might be the last one. 120x to the 4y to the 6. 120 is 12 times 10. Or 2 times 2 times 3 
times 2 times 5. 4 x's, 6 y's. So what can come out? A pair of 2's. Here, there's a 2, a 3, and a 5. There's no pairs, so all these are going to stay inside. There's two groups of x's, or x squared, and the y's. There's one, two, three pairs. That's it. What's left over on the inside? A 2, a 3, and a 5. We'll times those together. That makes 30. So you can break stuff up and then take out pairs. It even works when you're timesing square roots. So if I give you the square root of 10xy times the square root of 5x. All right, this is going to equal the square root of 50x squared y. Well, instead of breaking this answer apart, what if I, in the very beginning, I broke these up? And then knowing they're going to be mushed together anyway, let's take out pairs from both square roots. Here, 10, isn't that 2 times 5 times x times y? And then you have a 5 and an x. Inside the square root, what are the pairs of? I see two 5s, so a 5 will come out. I see two x's, so an x will come out. Left over, there's a 2 and a y. You can simplify before you multiply. It's kind of like with fractions. You can take one number from one square root and another from another square root because you know they're just going to be mushed together. Like this, 50 x squared y. Well, if I broke it up, 50, 25 times 2, which is 5 times 5 times 2, 2 x's and a y. Well, look here. You can take out a 5 and an x, and you're left with the 2 and the y. Same answer. We just saved ourselves a step by recognizing that these two are going to be together anyway. Might as well just factor them and simplify now.